What you doing? Rigging rods. For what? Lake Murray. Stocks tomorrow. You got a secret bait on there I need to zoom in on? I ain't got no bait on here yet. No bait. Ain't even tied a bait on yet and you got a bird nest. What? How you do that? What you think about Murray? I think we're gonna catch him this week. Rigging up four spin rods to go throw a dang frog off all the dang tournament. Hmm. That seems like an efficient use of your time. Mm-hmm. Alright, I need some insight. Do you think fishing a lot helps you? Yeah. Why? Just time on the water, seeing how fish react, getting fluent and everything. What have you been practicing? I've uh, been practicing everything, you know. Live scoping, throwing a frog, do a buzz bait some, fish bushes shallow, grass shallow, offshore deep, everything. We've been doing it all. In the last five years, what do you think you have improved the most on with your time on the water? Figuring out why fish get in certain places day after day after day. There are certain places they get all the time. Like they're always there. I don't, 365 days a year, there's fish there. And there are certain places where they get seasonally. And there are certain places that they don't ever get. Or big ones don't get. But whenever you fish a lot, for years at a time or whatever, you start to see it. The patterns duplicate themselves and where how fish get in certain places all the time. And it's very difficult to understand why those places are so special. Do you think that's the most important thing? Yeah. Throwing in front of bass is the most important part of this whole deal. So, like, what percentage do you think it matters, like, casting ability? Not that much. What about, like, being able to tie a good knot? A lot. A lot? Yeah. What about the right bait? Not that much? Not, not that much. Not that much? Mm -mm. That's what it seems like everybody focuses on. They're like, what are you catching them on? Yep. What are you catching them on? What color? What color? What yep. are you doing? You know? It's like, yeah, I caught them on a drop shot, but I threw that drop shot in the middle of 17 of them, and one swam off with it. It's like, it wouldn't have mattered what color you threw in there. There were 17 of them, you know? Or maybe even want bait, as long as it's same. It don't matter, yeah. It don't matter. You just use a bait that lands the most of them. Well, there's certain things you like, you know? Well, I got some swim jig trailers I really like for certain conditions. You I got flipping baits I like. Do it. I said you've been rigging all day. Yeah. Tired. I've been fishing also. Caught a 5.33 off bed today. It took him a hot minute, I will say that. I didn't fish that fish that long. The one by the boat ramp? Yeah. Oh. So, after you dropped me off, you didn't go back? No. Oh. I thought that's what you were doing the whole time. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were out there for like three hours fishing no, for that one. No, I left and I went fishing and I came back and got on him and caught him about 10 minutes. I probably spent 25, 30 minutes on that fish altogether. I caught the male and I caught the female. I mean, maybe 20 minutes on it the whole time. But I mean, it, it was it was acting pretty good. But I caught some, a few off bed today. You know, just kind of sampling the local areas over here in South Carolina, South Kakalaki. So how different was the South Carolina lakes than West Point, Harding, what we've been doing, you know? Like, not at all. Really? <laughs> like, they're exactly like West Point. It's a different river chain, though, right? Yeah, but the terrain's the same. Really? Same kind of stuff. Is the weather temp, like, the water temp the same? Very close, yeah. So they're pretty much doing the same thing. We could have stayed home, and you could have practiced West Point. I'd have caught them better. And I'd fish a tournament today, probably. That's because the areas, probably. Because <laughs> I know where to go. You know where yeah. to go. Yeah. That, that's what it is. Like, we're going to Murray. Tomorrow, practice starts on Murray. If I knew, like, the four areas where the biggest fish consistently live, and I could just go practice there, I would have a really good tournament, you know? Yeah. But I don't. I know a lake. That's like local advantage. Yeah. Like, I know a lake that I got to go figure it out on in three days. Yeah. That's huge, you know? What do you think the, in the last... Let's say five years, because the last five years you've probably been fishing like every day. What lake have you like exponentially grown on? I don't know. 
You don't know? Mm -mm. Like, which lake out of all of them in the whole country do you think you've improved the most? Or, like, gotten to know the most? Like, if you could go there right now, you think you could f go to a spot and catch some? Any of them at, any of them at home, you know? Yeah. Any, any lake on the Chattahoochee I think I could go to and, and, and catch some, you know? I think no I could, elite lakes? No. Hartwell? I'm going to go there and catch some. Like, I'm talking about, like, confident. if I go home and I fish on any of the lakes, any of the four or five lakes I normally fish, I feel like I show up to a tournament, a small tournament, with no practice, I got a legit shot to win. You know? Harding. Yeah. West Point. Yeah. What else? Ufala. Ufala. Lake Martin. Weed Alley. All of them. I feel like if I go there with no practice, I have a legit How, shot to win. you step it up on Weed Alley. I know. I'm going to say that. I know. Because you used to catch big ones there, and you're not doing that as much anymore. <laughs> I know. I even catch them over there. You kind of, like, it used to be like West Point was your bad one, Weed Alley was your better one, and now it's kind of like flip flop. Like, West Point West was Point's my. West getting, like, a lot better for you. West Point was my 11 to 13 pound lake. Yeah. When I was young. That's what I caught. That's literally what I caught. I got a check in almost everything. But I had 11 pounds in the fall. 13 pounds all the time. We have to a small intermission for American Idol, y'all. Tell me a little bit about the James River. <laughs> the James River? Yeah. I feel like we're over here close to that, ain't we? <laughs> no. Ain't it like ab right above us? I'm going to tell you something about James River. What? You didn't want to talk about tournament. You didn't want to talk about lakes we're going to. So I figured, you know. No, I'm telling you. Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about Toledo Bend. What you got to say about that? They just caught him there pretty good. OB and Millick has smashed him I'm pretty there. proud of him. Yeah, he's good. I'm pretty proud. He's really, really good. Where's Toledo Bend? He's not going to top five every tournament all year. Okay. But he, he is might. really good, you know. But that's, uh, that's unattainable. That's not sustainable, actually. But he's good. Probably be on the Elites next year. That'd be pretty cool. Yep. He seems like a good dude. Mm-hmm. But anyways. James River? Back to James River. That was just I random. pulled that one out of my hat. You remember that day? That was like that title one? Yeah. Wasn't it like you, you were like doing a title schedule or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. And remember I ran all the way back with like mm -hmm. 10 minutes to hit one spot? Yep. It was also like 110 degrees. Yeah, it's hot. Do you like I that drove, place? I drove all the way back from the Chickahominy River like 60 miles with, I think I had two bass. Maybe three. Was you shaking in your boots? I was rage. Oh, you was mad? So mad. Pull off in this little cut on the way back to weigh in. I was like, I, I got 15 minutes to fish, then I can still make it back. Pull off in this cut, skip a frog up under the first bush, one comes out, it's like a two and a half pounder. Set the hook, miss him. I'm like, that's my day. That's my day right there. Go to the next bush, skip a frog under there, Two and a half pounder. Catch him. Go back in the cut, turn around, come back out, skip a frog under the same bush, just caught two and a half pounder on. Four pounder. Caught it. Did you not think I should have been doing this a whole day? <laughs> well, at that point, I had 15 minutes. I had been doing it a lot of the day, just not at the right spot. So I put that four pounder in the boat. That gives me, that gives me four, I think, at that point in time. Skip back under the same bush. Catch a two and a half. So now I've got five, but I got a 12 incher. Put the trail motor on high. I'm trying to get out of the cut. I skip back on the same bush. I lost, I missed a two and a half pounder on. He bites it. I catch him. Put him in line. Well, call the one I had. End up weighing in like 14 pounds with four two and a halves and then a four pounder. So, I mean, that was, that was like in 15 minutes, I caught four of the five that I weighed in. Crazy day. You lucky son of a gun. Lucky and unlucky. I had already had the bites to have a really, really big bag that morning. And I just lost them and lost them and broke them off and lost them. It was just like a terrible, terrible, terrible day. I had the bites to have a giant bag out of the Chickahominy. Giant for that term. At that time of year, it wasn't fishing good. You know, so I had the bites to do really, really well. I'm driving back from the Chickahominy. Just like, God, everything went wrong. It could possibly go wrong. And I pull off in a little cut. And then everything goes right for 15 minutes. And we had a, we actually ended up with a good tournament. If I wouldn't have if I would not have went in that cut, I would not have made the elites. There's no way. You know the thing is, like, it only takes five minutes to catch a lemon. Yeah, it don't take long at all. You just gotta like, keep going. You got going. a bunch yeah. of hours. You just gotta it don't keep take doing long. it. Yep. Would you feel more confident if he was on Hartwell this week? 
I don't know. I've never been to Murray. Do you, you feel pretty confident right now, do you? I feel like I'm going to catch them, yeah. But you always feel like that, don't you? Mm -hmm. You just always don't say it because that's what people do. No, I, I feel like I'm going to catch them. I just don't know how yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch five pounders consistently enough because here you're going to have to weigh in. Five pounders? Yeah, you're going to have to weigh in three of them a day. Three fives a day? Yeah. You mean to win or to make the cut? To win. To win the cut, you better have one a day probably. For real? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to tell us tomorrow how you're catching them? Or we got to save them? I'll tell you right now I'm going to catch them. Where don't? Huh? I'm catching one dang frog. You know what happened last time you said that? On a herring spawn, put up here. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I might though, for real. They come up busting. I'm just gonna throw that frog out there in the middle. Pop, 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 pop. Catch a big one. Seven pounder. If there's if there's a big one in that school blowing up on them herring, I'll, I'll catch them on that frog. No, I'm just now. kidding. No, that's that'd be a waste of time. I ain't doing that. <laughs> See ya tomorrow. Bright and early. <laughs>